Today, we're going to be reviewing and unboxing all four of the brand new limited edition Binance and Freddy Security Breach U2's figures, including Hide and Seek Vanny, Sun and Moon, The Wet Floor Blot, and of course, Burn Trap. These are all available for only 72 hours, and of course, I got them all in like a month or two ago. They all came in differently. First, I got Hide and Seek Vanny, then Burn Trap, then Sun and Moon, but then Wet Floor Blot finally came in yesterday. He took the longest, but you know, it's fine and it's okay, but without further ado, let's go open them all up, starting with Sun because it's my favorite out of the entire set. So let's go look at Sun. Of course, the box is kind of the same. As you guys can see, it has the whole Sun and Moon words up there. It has like a little yellow glow behind it. Vinyl figure, U2, as you guys can see, Sun's in the front, Moon's in the back. So of course, it's Sun and Moon. Got Montgomery Gator on the side. The same box are exactly like in Security Breach, if you're wondering. And in the top, we can actually see Moon, which is also pretty dusty because it can show how long it's been up there. And of course, down here, as you guys can see here, it's just, you know, the little code, the 100% authentic, everything like that. So without further ado, let's go open this up and get to it. Okay, so now it's open, and as you can see here, Sun looks a little bit different from the box, I gotta be fully honest. The lighting with the yellow being so bright and the color looks a little bit dim, but anyways, the color's not what we're talking about right now. The model looks insane, as you can see, it says Sun and Moon, collectible vinyl number 17 in the whole FNAF series. As you guys can see, Sun and Moon there with some of the lights. It says here, a friend, this area is off limit. <laughs> a friend? <laughs> I can't read. New friend, this area is off limits. You're gonna get us in trouble. If you don't remember, I said that totally wrong. He said, new friend, this area is off limits. You're just gonna get us in trouble. He said trouble like like that, if you remember from Security Breach. And as you guys can see here, we got here the whole daycare area. And also over here, it says you keep the light. It says there's only one rule, keep the lights on, on, on. Of course, I'm not saying exactly the same way he said it, but yet it's lines from Security Breach. And there's no, many, no more lines unless I actually open it up. So let's go open up it and uh, see the line. And uh, maybe it was a box like that. I don't know, but the box is like that. But as you guys see here in the beginning, it says here. I mean, the top is I'm putting you in timeout. In a timeout. That says in a timeout? Yeah, it does. <laughs> And as you guys can see here, we finally got Sun and Moon in the flesh opened up. I never actually seen these, of course, in person. It's my first time opening it up. So let's go put Sun and Moon down. And let's go and actually look at him. As you guys can see, it's amazing. It's a big figure, of course, since it's two different figures in once. And I'm happy we did get them both. So, like, 30 bucks to get both of them. Yes, they did retail for $30 each, if you're wondering. And as you guys can see here, this is Sun. Got the U2's eyes. Got the whole, you know the whole animatronic body exactly like in the statue if you're wondering this is also taking place exactly like the statue in the daycare attendant pretty cool definitely do love it i love sun's whole design you can't see the wiring back because you know it's covered but it still looks really good i do like the the whole modeling the whole printing and all the different colors i guess do think that this whole pot shouldn't be this beige color and it should be a little bit like different the yellow pots are cases okay, that one pot in the whole entire hands just getting me off about the color beside that it's technically a perfect figure it's really good the suns are really thick it's a really solid figure not really hollow at all and then when we go over here to moon over here you can even see like some little the areas where the rope goes in where moon flies in the game and also you can see here moon's in his position here also the gray is a little bit too dark but i do like moon a lot better than the sun side i gotta say here we got some printing up in here for the whole little stars even on his pants you can see some of the printing here and the colors definitely do look a little bit better on him i do like the molding and everything like that because like look at that dude he looks great and as you guys can see from side to side they're just like you know there they also have the stand saying scott Cawthon you too so you know they can stand because i don't think they can stand without this stand anyways it's a great figure i do like sun and moon now let's go and actually move on to Burn Trap. And as you can see, Burn Trap just has that, you know, has the same words Burn Trap, just with the pink or purple, you know, the purple hue, purple guy behind it, behind the text, and beside that, it's the same boxes and the sun and moon, and of course, all the other security reach Funko Pops. I mean, you twos. And as you guys can see here, we finally got Burn Trap out. He definitely looks a lot smaller than I thought. But as you guys can see here, this is Burn Trap. He looks a lot detailed than I think in some photos that I've seen. This is your Burn Trap vinyl figure. Has whole U2s. He's number 20. And, you know, I'm kind of opening these up and out of order. But as you guys can see here, Burn Trap's right there. You turn over here. You can see Burn Trap just, you know, opening up the door. I mean, going through one of the security doors in Security Breach. It says here, quick, hide. That was actually Gregory because Burn Trap has no voice lines. So, you know... 
It's a he 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 he. Yeah, this is very confusing. And of course, you guys can actually see if you open it up. You got burn trap at the top. But let's just go and actually open it up. And it says here, oh no. It makes no sense why, because I know Burst has no lines, but like they could have used some trailer lines, I thought. And as you guys can see here, here he is, Burn Trap, the man himself, the man that always comes back. And as you guys can see here, he can stand on himself, he doesn't need to stand to stand, but over here, he has definitely a lot more detail. I think he has the most detail of everyone here. You can see all the metal, that if everything going into the whole suit, even the whole flesh going all around the endoskeleton, you can even see the Glamrock endo here. It's, it's really great. I do like all the designs, all the attention to detail. It definitely looks a lot better in person than it actually is in real life. He also got the U2's eyes, the whole smile, and of course, he's pretty small, like I said. Compared to Sun and Moon, you can definitely see the difference. It's dev he's definitely a lot more smaller, but that is Burning Trap. Don't really know what else to say. Of course, he's a great figure. He just fell. <laughs> he, of course, is a great figure. I really do actually like him. And now let's move on to the Web 4 bot because I'm not a huge fan of Hide and Seek Manny, and I'll let you know why. So, going on to the Web 4 bot, he has, like, only white. Like, a little white faint behind the whole text in here. And, it's, of course, the exact same box as all the Security Breach ones. So, we're going to have to get used to that type of box. The box is a little bit damaged. How dare you, you twos? Definitely, this protective sleeve is a little bit damaged, and as a collector, this hurts me. This, this actually hurts me, bro. But as you guys can see here, this is it. The Web 4 bar, and of course, his eyes are a lot smaller than I think, and I think this is actually a really great figure, because, first of all, in all the photos and things I've seen, and also the whole art here, it doesn't look as good as it does in real life. I'll talk about it later, as you guys can see, Web 4 bar, he's number 19, and if he's number 20... That means this is, of course, a, a hide and seek is, of course, number 18. And we got here the whole art at the back. No words, just shows the dude swiveling upon, you know, wet floors. It says your caution, wet floor. That's literally all it says. And up top here, it says your slippery one wet, of course. He's stuck in here. And here he is, the wet floor bot. Out of all of them, he definitely got stuck the most for some reason. And of course, out of all of them, he's also the smallest. Imagine paying $30 for this. And, and what? And he's hollow too? Okay guys, so I gotta say out of every YouTube's, this is definitely the most disappointing YouTube that I've ever had. Why? First of all, he's hollow. He's not as thick and full of, you know, see, look, look at this. He's in a hollow figure. This is, of course, sad. The printing, of course, is amazing. Caution, wet floor. The whole details they have, even the whole uses in the bottom. Everything is pretty good, but he's extremely small. Like, look at everyone. Look at him compared to everyone else. He's really small. Of course, he's hollow, and it's just a wet floor bot, but... They could have made him a full print. Why did they make him hollow? Maybe that's why he was delayed out of everyone else, but I still don't understand that. Like, come on, why? I liked the YouTube's because they were, like, really good quality. This, I'm sa sorry, but it doesn't look the best of the best quality. The mold and everything, it looked really good, but you can hear it. You can just hear that every time I keep touching it. It's just like that. At the end of the day, it's a good figure. Definitely do like it, but definitely not worth $30. As a collector, of course, I need it for my set, but... He ain't worth the 30 bucks, kiddos. Let's go put him back down. Let's go open up Hide and Seek Vanny, my least favorite one, which I also explained. It says here, Hide and Seek Vanny. The text is, of course, behind, like, red. And the box is the exact same like all the other ones. As you guys can see here, this is the box. Hide and Seek Vanny. As you guys can see, this is the figure. She's number 18. Hide and Seek Vanny. And over here, it says more art for Vanny. Over here, it says, don't worry. I'll be ready. Isn't that a sign from the trailer? I think it's a sign from the trailer. Also, you can see a battery sign and also Greg or someone in the charger station. You know, Freddy. This is, are you having fun yet? Of course, Vanny's iconic line. And of course, if you open up the box, it's going to say the last line. Because yeah, I won't let you down. Of course, another line from the trailer. Why couldn't Burnt Trap's lines be there? Unless that wasn't really Burnt Trap's lines and they're trying to convince us he never actually talked. Of course, again with this. Why does every figure get stuck here, bruh? No way! So that happened. That literally just happened. Bruh. As I kept saying, I'm a collector, and seeing that happen to the figures literally suck, and Vanny can stand. 
can't stand without a stand, actually. And yes, guys, this is the last figure, a hide-and-seek Vanny. It's just a reposed Vanny figure with different colors, you know, making it look all dark like she's hiding in the corner. Why is this a figure? No entire idea. Also, the stand gets literally fell off. These earpiece a little bit flimsy, too, but the reason I did not like this one because it's just a recolor for no reason. Like, hide-and-seek Vanny's not even a color in the game. And of course, it makes no sense because this is not in the game. Of course, it's like in the trailer, and they're, I'm guessing they're doing that. They just want to sell a Vanny figure because the other Vanny figure is exclusive in the bundle. That's why I liked it, because there's an exclusive bundle figure that you can't get anywhere else. But of course, sadly, that's not the case. This is it. I didn't see Vanny. Nothing else to really say, guys. It's the exact same mold, just a different color palette, and of course, a different pose. Anyways, guys, this is every single one of the brand new Finds of Freddy's U2s. You can let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Mine is definitely Sun, Burning Trap, then it's, of course, the Web Floorbot, and then Hide and Seek Vanny. Let me know in the comments below if you got any of these, and if you could pick one of these to get, which one will you pick? And that's me for this video. See you guys all in the next video, and, um, goodbye. He's hollow.